guys, 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 you gotta cut that shit out. Not in front of me. Bro, it's a public gym, bro. Yeah, do it to the side, not in front of me. Come on, bitch, you're going shit. Yo, this one time you don't carry me, you fucking pussy. I'm fucking scouting you, you fucking rat. Yeah. One time! One time! Bro, don't fucking play games, I will fucking go outside. I'm not playing games with you, bro. I just had to move the fucking side. That's all I had. If you guys thought children possess the worst temper, wait till you watch this video, boy. You're not ready for what you're about to see. This video just goes on to prove why toxic gym culture needs to end, period. Here we have these bodybuilders losing their minds, bro. In the gym, man. <laughs> the gym, the place that is meant for people to go work out. You don't know, build muscle, yeah. They're losing their brain cells, all right? We're gonna react to it, so make sure to click the like button, subscribe, and yo, let's go. This is what's wrong with social media, dude. So one of the wildest things that's ever happened to me in the gym just happened a few minutes ago. I set up some boxes to do handstand walk-ups. This one dude walks up and sets his bag right on the box. Before he even sets it down, he already has an attitude. So I moved his bag politely. I'm not rude about it. As I'm moving it, I'm asking him, hey, do you mind if I move this real quick? And this is when this guy just goes He's off. He's all like, dude, what the F? So I'm like, why are you so upset? He's like, put your shirt back on. This isn't bodybuilding. I'm not bodybuilding. I'm thinking to myself, who pissed in this man's Cheerios? It's 8.30 in the morning. He's all like, you need to check the gym rules. Here's the gym rules. You know what? Let's check the gym rules for this, all right? So number one, it says like, always show courtesy to other members, re-rack all equipment. Number three is like, no dropping weights. Number four, no weights on carpet or cardio equipment. Number five, no yelling loud or grunting or profanity. Six, no food or glass bottles. Seven, no chalk, no gym. No gym bags, I think on machines or whatever. Nine is gym attire. Zippers, bottoms, shoes only. Number 10, absolutely no. No solid sighting. Number 11 is like no jump rope in the gym. Huh? <laughs> Bro, why? No jump rope? That's weird. Uh, number 12 is like comments or complaints should be taken to management. 13, no loitering. 14, when lifting free weight assistance from a spotter is recommended at all times now not one of those rules says i can't have a shirt on but he is clearly in violation of rule number one so he's like i'm gonna go get the manager da, 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 da. i'm like cool bro i don't care i'm literally wrapping up as soon as i finish this i'm gonna be done but he doesn't walk away instead he gets closer raises his voice at me and insults me before finally walking away to get the receptionist this went on for four minutes then i did what i came to do put my shirt on stacked the boxes and went about the rest of my workout so i ask you who is in the wrong here yeah that's kind of weird bro like i mean it doesn't show no shirts on that's funny right like i mean it has everything else no chalk no food but it doesn't say no shirt no shirt has to be on yo here's the thing man like you know regarding this video <laughs> first of all it's 8 a.m boys you know drink your coffees man and get through your workouts why the hell boy are you getting why are you getting irritated on somebody else's workout like you know what i'm saying like somebody else is doing his thing focus on your thing right if you're not feeling right go drink your damn coffee what i think happens here my guy came he didn't eat breakfast he didn't drink his coffee he's in a pissy mood all right so now you see a guy here he's working out you know he has all his equipment set no shirt on whatever first things first you're going to throw your bag on his equipment okay mind you you probably didn't know you probably were unaware that he was using that whatever bench or that uh table he was using fine we'll give you that but second of all it's like what did he do to you yeah he has no shirt you know he's doing a different kind of workout in the middle of the gym it's not like you want to use that space first of all if you wanted to use that space and he's in the way i right, you can go at him you know you, you have a point but i mean what are you mad about are you mad that he doesn't have a, a shirt on are you mad he's using this bench are you what are you mad at bro i don't get it because my dude here wasn't doing anything wrong to you you know he's just focusing on his own thing trying to get his workout whatever he has a different workout training and i mean you yelling this is not a bodybuilding show like that doesn't even make any sense <laughs> like, like what does that have to do with anything like you know what i'm saying like for the most part you could say like this is not your you know you're the comfort of your own home or this is not your personal space or something like that like you know i mean i get it right like i mean having no shirt on in the middle of the gym on a busy time let's say it's a peak period that could be a little bit annoying and a little bit you know it distraction to the people that are there to just work out like you know especially like you're, you're flexing all the time you know but i mean this is eight in the morning that means there's not a lot of people there bro so my dude came here with no coffee and yeah he's he's raging for no reason so to be honest if this was a part of the gym rules right if it was there like on the board that says like shirt must be on at all times that i mean i'd understand but yo it doesn't say you know you have like 12 gym rules 
they all talk about like you know shoes having spotter no glass bottles no food blah 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 but yet none like i'm not one of them says no shirt off like you know what i'm saying that's the funniest thing ever and my dude here seems to be educated on the gym rules he's like check the gym rules and not one single rule is on there regarding my guy here having to have his shirt on you know some people just go in the gym bro with just with a goal of just like stepping on other people's toes bro with a goal of just starting beefs for no reason that's ridiculous you know i don't think the dude that was working out was in the wrong essentially if he wasn't bothering anyone he wasn't making no noise right he's not disturbing people he's doing his workout he's on the right why is this guy all pressed doesn't make sense boy it doesn't make sense all right let's check this next video out this is getting interesting ain't it Like the first thing that came into mind on this first video is I thought this was like a father and son and this is like some skit because you know with TikTok and all a lot of stuff be like skits and people be like writing weird stuff on the comments. I mean on the uh, uh, they be titling the video weird. They be like oh he tried to fight me. Meanwhile you find out they're just like you know father and son or siblings or two friends. You know they stage it make it look like they have a problem. You know what I'm saying? I thought this was one of those right but uh from this video from what i see here it looks like my dude was deadlifting and this old man here just he just wasn't having it bro like you know he just comes and he's kicking his weight and he's sitting on his weight like what what are you trying to do bro like and i guess the title of this was named um, old man goes crazy over chalk in the gym so i guess he's pissed off at my dude here using chalk but my dude here is lifting heavy ass weight so you need chalk or you need like wrist wraps to be able to lift this kind of weight there's no way your grip is so strong you can hold the bar with this many plates you know what i'm saying like why is this guy pressed and on top of that it's like he, i mean I, he probably talked to him i mean they probably talked or argued i don't know but like it's like how are you gonna go sit on his way like that like that's disrespectful bro at this point it's like he's asking to be punched in the face like how annoying is that like imagine you're having a workout some dude comes and he's like raging about you using chalk and then he chooses to sit on your goddamn plate so i mean if you punched him would you be on the wrong <laughs> i mean i suppose you would but i guess you shouldn't do that but at the end of the day it's like bro these guys are the worst i get it you know you're probably irritated maybe he's lifting way more than you maybe your ego is feeling crushed i don't know what it is bro but like yo this this would annoy the hell out of me bro like my dude here has a whole lot of other list he could be complaining about right like complain about the goddamn gym music they be playing bro sometimes they be playing this karaoke gym music from 2008 bro you know what i mean or you know the gym volume be up like you know what i'm saying and you can't hear anything you can't even hear your noise cancellation earphones bro that's how bad the gym music be sometimes or sometimes you have dudes screaming and grunting and making so much noise bro and it's it's disturbing and it's distracting from your workout i mean you could complain about that or you could complain about the girls that are wearing next to nothing bikini thongs working out i mean sure that's a point too right what's another thing you complain about let's think hmm oh you could complain about there not being ac right because a lot of gyms don't have ac bro and it gets goddamn hot how come he didn't complain about that hmm wait that's not it i mean you could complain about people not re-racking their weight that's a really great way to complain you know if you want something to complain about complain about that hmm but no you didn't um let's see what's another one oh how about machines being broken and not being fixed that's a valid point you can complain about that how come you didn't i wonder why hmm, there's another one i got more you know you can complain about people not cleaning their machines their equipments after use you know leaving all their lingering ass sweat on the benches and stuff that's that's a valid point you can complain about that <laughs> you know like i mean 
Chalk is still a valid point. I guess some gym do ban, ban chalk, I guess, because it's all messy, gets everywhere. But at the end of the day, I think this gym didn't have no problem with no with him using chalk. Like if they had it, like the other, the last guy's video, right? It was one of the rules, no chalk. If this gym here had like on their, on their rules, no chalk is to be used and this dude is using it. You have a fair point, you know what I mean? I don't know, bro. Bro is acting like a gym police here, gym warrior, but like, the funniest thing is like yo you're just wasting your own time you could have been working out could have done your workout could have went home could have been eating your chicken breast could have been resting drinking your milk and your protein shakes and watching your favorite arnold movie bro but instead you're out here bro wasting time sitting on his plate not even doing your goddamn workout so i mean brah where are the brain cells this is killing me So this is my friend Devin in the video and this is an example of what he was doing, you know. Not slamming weights down, just not controlling the eccentric. This is literally what every elite powerlifter does. People who make the argument if you can't control it on the way down, you can't lift it are absolutely stupid. There's a reason no elite powerlifter does that. I like how he proceeds to get mad at him for making noise deadlifting and then goes on to make more noise screaming than anybody slamming weights ever will. What my friend said about if you want silence, go to a library, not a gym is dead on. Yo, this video man <laughs> you're like you know what's so funny about this video is like you know how people act all tough you know people think they tough in the gym they like to act like apex predator bro they want to be the big dog like they're all just screaming at each other you know fighting so basically it's all bark no bite right they're all fighting over nonsense um so people are threatening each other and then nobody's doing nothing about it and um it's it's really funny because the reason they're not really getting into it is because they don't want their membership to be cancelled and that's funny like i mean at the end of the day imagine you have your membership cancelled over nonsense it's a little ridiculous ain't it right like that's why nobody wants to lose their membership but yeah they're all gonna talk and you know throw all these threats to each other but do nothing about it it always happens at any gym you'll find there's always people like this and these are the words even this guy here was like i'm gonna stab you this and that like what warranted that Cut that shit out. Not in front of me. Bro, it's a fucking deal, bro. Yeah, do it to the side, not in front of me. Bro, bro don't fucking play games. I will fucking watch that. So like with this video here, yeah, I was a little bit confused. This next one, right? Like he's in the middle of his workout. I mean, I don't know what he's yelling at. All I can assume is somebody's outside of the frame here is distracting him as he's repping that five plates, right? Like fine, you know, his concentration is ruined, you know, but I think he could have just waited to finish the workout. And instead of in the middle of the workout, you're like screaming. I think he's mad at the weights. All I can assume is like the weights are kicking his ass. You know what I mean? Like they're destroying his knee joints and all. He's screaming at the weights, like not over here, you know? And um, the other thing is like, I can also assume maybe it's his knee joints. Maybe his knee joints are giving out, right? Maybe that's what he's mad about. But like, bro is like leashing out for no reason, you know? And I'm like so confused at this point. All I'm gonna do is I like give him the benefit of the doubt. These, there's people outside of the frame just, you know, showing their bums out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Distracting him like that. You know, pans down like, uh, like Bart Simpson, you know? So it doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. I think I let me watch it more to find the concept. Guys, 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 you gotta cut that shit out. Not in front of me. Bro, it's a fucking gym, bro. Yeah, do it to the side, not in front of me. Bro, don't fucking play games. I will fucking go outside. I just asked to move the fucking side. That's all I asked. 
Like the funniest thing is he went on and he actually posted this bio or he posted this text along with this video, which doesn't even explain much. I mean, he's bashing about people um, working out for the cameras, but it's like, you're doing the same thing. You can be mad about that, you know? It's like, if you're gonna be a good example, I mean, at least practice what you preach. A lot of people just preach nonsense that they don't even practice, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's funny, bro. Like, let's actually continue watching more. Like, I guess he's on this video here now explaining his reason. Honestly, the memes aren't even funny, to be honest with you. And I have a good sense of humor. After I explain myself, then I'm going to bring whoever the fuck wants to come on. This isn't my camera crew. This camera crew is paid for by the owner of the gym. You need to respect that as well. Not only that, you need to respect the people training around you. Don't fucking play games, I will fucking blow You need to respect, respect people, people training, training around you. I don't have ill will towards these guys. They were just there training, but... And then they were laughing and joking, and one of them kind of like slapped the other one on the back or kind of lunged a little bit. All I said was, I said, guys, don't do that shit in front of me, just do it to the side. Just like that. Guys, 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 you gotta cut that shit out. Not in front of me. And I said, I don't care, just don't do it in front of me, do it to the side. Do it to the side, not in front of you. What I just said sounds in any way, shape, or form disrespectful. I'll fucking play games, I will fucking go outside. That's all I said. What buffles me is he sacrificed his workout, bro. Like he could have gotten 12 to 15 reps, finish it off, three sets, however many sets he's doing. He sacrificed the workout midway through to go yell at these dudes. Bro, he couldn't wait till the very end, man. And the way he's trying to justify it by explaining here, he has a poor excuse of explanation. It doesn't even make any sense. I don't, still don't even know why he was mad. I guess he's saying these dudes were distracting him and hitting each other. It's like, yo, they're vibing. They're not in your face. They're not restricting your movement. If they were like right there while you're squatting, you know what I mean? You can't go down because of they're preventing you. And it's like a heavy set. I understand. But it's like they're over there across their machines. You know, you're mad at your workout because it's kicking your ass while you're taking it out on them. You can never understand people these days. It's, it's a little funny, bro. But I love these comments. You see how he's getting roasted over here? Wait, wait, wait. You are the guy whose film guy was in my way when I was trying to rack my weights. Ironic. Need to be at least 5'6 to attempt that aggressive approach, dude. Wait, so why can you lift be recorded but it triggers you when someone else does it? Did I say it had anything to do with his camera? Please show me where I said that. You literally mentioned people with camera crew in your cap. <laughs> Man, it's it's funny, ain't it? Right? Like, man, these comments are killing. Me. These comments are funny, but you know why I love comments? It's because you'll get an army, bro, across the globe. They're gonna come and they're gonna set you straight, bro. <laughs> they're gonna set you straight. And not to mention, you just said do it to the fucking side, and I even curse. Cut that shit out. Don't fucking play fucking. And I, and I even, even curse. curse. I wasn't asking them to go get me a fucking cup of coffee. I wasn't asking them to bake me a fucking cake. I wasn't asking them to take the fucking weight off. I'm trying to explain to you guys is that there's two different angles. I don't want to post it. The only way I'll post a video, those two guys agree for me to post it. But I'm not going to do it without them okaying it because I don't want to be that dude. And I don't want to fucking bash them and fucking make them look bad. Make them look bad. And I'm not going to apologize for asking them to move. But I will say I could have done it in a different way. I honestly didn't find the memes that funny. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Let me on. Johnny Cross. Look at the, uh, look at the lives here, right? Look at the, I guess, the people that come on his live. <laughs> They're just trolling him hard, man. He just looks so bad. Guys, 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 not in front of me. Not in front of me. Oh. Wow, I actually just let on a three-year-old. Anybody else want to come on? Let's see if this guy wants to come on. Let's see. Yo. Yo, I, can't, I see a white uh, white screen. Bro, you're squatting five plates on a Smith machine, using a machine to squat to hack squat. You got no right to ask anyone. You're doing fag exercises, bro. Well, I you got no right to make demands, dude. That's well, all it is. Coach. You're an Omega, bro. Why you, sigmas? That's all it is. Why you can't you show your face? Why would I want to show my face? Because you wanted to look. This you is you don't what, deserve to see my face, bro. A sigma moves in silence. You're a beta. 
what little kids do. They, they they talk shit and they can't even do anything. You're a beta. You're an old man. You use machines, bro. You Tommy, use machines like that woman in front of the out dumbbells. Of your what a fucking loser, huh? Use- wow. Look at this. What a... This is the type of fucking Instagram losers that are fucking on Instagram. Who says Sigma? Is that even like a thing? What a millennial fucking... Hey, dude, you're squatting five plates on a hack squat. Ah, yeah, you're just doing the stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. I think we're all fucking dumber. What's up, bro? What's up, homie? Yeah, how you doing, bro? Good, dude. Uh, so I disagree completely with how it went down. When I racked the weight and back and moved over, that's why they look at that shit in front of me. Just do it to the side. It's fine, just don't do it in front of me. Do it to the side. I said that two more times. That's three. Mm-hmm. We can just take it outside because I'm, I'm too old. When I racked it, um, uh, did you what? see the you see the dark iron gains uh, memes? What do you think about those? I, dude, I, half the memes I saw, I thought they could be way funnier. Oh, you didn't see them? He posted a new one. You should check it out. But if you were squatting and somebody was standing a foot in front of you, would you tell them to move? They were like probably four feet away. Did you okay? Did you not hear what I said when I said when you guys saw me get off? They had already moved about three to four feet away from the machine. I'd have to see the video though. We, that was already established early on that I can post it once I get cleared to post it by the two individuals. For so sure. that or you're debating things that were already talked about like five times over. I mean, if they were a foot, if they were one foot, they were of, literally oh. a foot, or if not less, in front of the hack squat machine. Okay, I'd have to see the video. Okay, all right. Let me ask you two questions. Do you follow me? No. Waking up in the morning. Think- I've been doing this since 2008. And there's not one video of me ever freaking out on somebody in the gym. What would make one assume that there's something I do all the time? Um, well, I don't really give a fuck, dude. I don't, I don't even know who the fuck you are, honestly. I just joined. I don't even know who the fuck you are, honestly. I just joined. Uh, but I appreciate you having me on, bro. No, What's I appreciate What's up? Keep hitting the hack squats, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. Appreciate it. I just wish things would get better. I'm trying to get rid of them. Like, I told two kids to get out of my way it's like the fucking world stopped i mean i don't think he can dig his dig himself out of this he called this upon himself it's his fault i think he could have handled it better right like you, you could have just finished the workout man and just go talk to them explain yo can you like you know horse them on somewhere else you're trying to focus or whatever you know this conversation didn't need to happen and especially with the cameras rolling and on top of that he posted it on his whatever account it's like you know you want attention 100 percent because this you could have talked about this without the cameras rolling you know what i mean like you, you're trying to shame them but yet here on throughout this video you're claiming you don't want to put them on blast you know there's a different angle blah 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 but you already you already roasted them like you're already making them look bad so i mean what are you trying to say right it doesn't make any sense bro <laughs> It's a little funny, ain't it? But I don't know, man. You guys, let me know what you all thought about this. I think just this culture is, is getting out of hand. These kind of people are the worst, man. This is the what ruins the gym dynamics, right? Because everybody's there to work out better themselves, get muscles, why not? Get built, get shredded, lose fat, look great, improve their health. Everybody's there for all that. But then you have other people like this coming and ruining it for everybody, bro. I don't even know what they're going through. Maybe they're taking some kind of drugs. Maybe they're smoking too much weed. Maybe they're not drinking coffee. Maybe not eating breakfast, not sleeping enough. Whatever it could be, man. Let me know what it is, man. But anyway.